Welcome back, everyone. Couch Surfing Podcast, uh, season three, <laughs> episode nine. Have we really been doing this for? When did we start? Like the exact day that we started. Was it three years ago? Is that why we're in season three? Why are we in season three? Well, <laughs> did I just make an ex- decision? No, um, <laughs> not exactly. I think, I think it almost has been three years. I think it was 2021, but I think it was maybe April um, when we first filmed the video. But we filmed like we filmed a couple, a bunch of videos before we started actually posting them. You're right. And then we sort of switched and decided that we should just film them and get them up as soon as possible not really have like a lined up yeah um, I'm trying to see yeah cause it says July that was like the first time we posted of 2021 but we definitely had filmed like at least like 5 6 7 I mean there's a lot that we posted on July 13th there's just well that's of- on Spotify yeah. because that's when we you would have to go to YouTube to see, like... Oh, you're right. Got um, it. Because we were on YouTube before we were So on. we're coming up on a year this summer, maybe, then. A year. Of oh, sorry, three years. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. blanking out. Yeah, no, like, basically, the beginning of April is when we started filming, I believe. Oh, yeah. So that's, like Damn. Three like, years. Look, it is, like, three years for three us. Years. And to celebrate the three years, we got a special treat. We're going to do a little bit of taste testing. No crumble cookie. Sorry to disappoint the fans. We may bring that one back, but it's a lot of, a lot of calories. It is a lot. It's a lot of calories, and I'm trying to lose weight. Ben's doing good. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. So, first, I want to just bring in a classic. This is a classic one. Nothing, nothing crazy, but we're going to try some M&M. Cookie Crunch. M&M Cookie Crunch. Okay. Uh, candies. I've had these for a long time. I just added these into the mix. I bought these like a long ass time ago, so they may be spoiled too. No so way. There you go. Not you, possible. We're not going to do a lot because we're, like I said, we're on our calories. So we're going to have a, just a couple each. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to spill the whole fucking bag. What are your thoughts and feelings on it? So I just ate a blue one and I'm just kidding. You don't have flavors. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, it's like the outer part of the M&M is like a typical M&M and then the inside is like a, it's, it's not, like a wafer. Almost. Yeah, it's not pretzel. No. Sweet wafer. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good, good way to describe it. Good way. All right. It's like a Rice Krispie almost. Ooh. Too sure. That's addictive. Now, next, we have Sour Patch Kids, but found these today. Peach flavor. Have you had these? No, I've never seen them. Did. Um, did you know M&M? Get out of here. Put the hard candy shell on their M&Ms, like during World War II or something, to send I, M&Ms I, over to the soldiers and they wouldn't melt? I think I remember In their pockets like or something? I remember something along those lines. You're correct. So, we're going to try the peach ones now. Pretty decent size. Not too bad. Kind of like peach rings, they look like. They're not sour. I don't think they're supposed to be sour. Yeah, it is, I ripped off. I said, like, mm. not sour. Mm. I see. So... I mean, you like peach? Yeah. Me too. I fucking love peach. Peach rings. <laughs> peach rings are so good. Oh my god. I love gummy too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, definitely so. My go-to um snack for when I'm intoxicated. Usually celery, because that crunch. Yeah. And the water and stuff like with it. Like, mm, So it goes something. A little bit of peanut butter, maybe. Oh my god, it sends me. 
The next thing is just gummy. Just gummy general. Yeah. Anything gummy. I will literally chew on a single gummy bear. I just read it. It feels like five minutes. <laughs> like, so I'm like, oh my God, my jaw is killing me. And I've only had like two gummy bears. Because I'm just like. You just like. Oh, I'm just, it. I'm just like taking it all in. It's the best thing. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, yeah. Now. These, you may not like, controversial here within the office today. So we got Starburst Airs gummies. These are brand new. Out on the market. I had to get my dealer to give me these. <laughs> okay. My gummy dealer. <laughs> gummy dealer. So let's get you, let me give me a couple. So these, I would say, I'll, I'll, I'll let you have one. And now, obviously, these are flavored. I got, you know, the, the, oh, we have a special, our oh, special yes. guest co-host here. I got all four got flavors. Got nice, good. Ashlyn is still alive, guys. She's kicking. She's well. Uh, so. I'm going to try one that you have. All right, so we'll do, this. so we'll trust the yellows here. What do you think it is? And I'll tell you my thoughts after. These are sour. Tastes like something I've had. What? But I don't know if I know exactly what. So, a lot of people in the office give these a marshmallow vibe. That's what of. they say. Like, especially the non sour ones. I don't have any coating on it, they're just smooth. Mm. It, it, the texture of the outside is just like a marshmallow. Obviously, adding the sour like powder on it mm -hmm. changes up. I think with our texture, but I don't know. The grape one was not very good. No, I mean, I'd eat like a whole thing of them if they were just grape, but oh yeah, that great. The, yeah, the, yeah, the whole bag. The whole bag is 440 calories for the whole bag. Cool, I'm good. Yeah. Um, what were the different flavors? So we got, there were four flavors. Pineapple, mango, passion fruit, kiwi, strawberry was the green one. Hmm. Pineapple, mango, passion fruit. Oh, I like the pineapple and the mango the best. Yeah. Then the kiwi strawberry. Oil. Mango was good. Yeah. The pineapple was banging. So, this last one. The best for last. All three. A little bit of a backstory here before I bring it up. As a kid, I really hope you got to experience this. I really do. I think I'm. Actually, yeah, I think you did. I feel like we already talked about it. You know, we talked about too much shit. Did you ever get to experience Altoid Tangerine Sours? Yeah. Did we not talk about this in the kitchen with Grace and stuff like yeah, that not too long ago? Okay. That's what I thought. I'm going crazy. <laughs> so. We were going to buy two tins for two tins. $200. So, I found the closest brand of the candy. Uh -huh. Like, I did a bunch of research. So, yeah. Tangerine Sours. Are, were made by Altoids. They got discontinued, I don't know when, like freaking 2006, I feel like. Something, yeah. Like, I, I wonder if I, I can... I was going to say like 2005. I wonder if I can find this. Um, but they were my favorite thing ever. Um, it, it was just so... Oh, God, they were so good. I can't believe that they got discontinued because I feel like so many people loved them. Oh, yeah. Tangerine Sour. It does not spell tangerine close at all. Dang, 2004. Wait, no. According to uh, Altoy Sours, hit the market in 2004. Okay. So that's when it went. When Altoy's. Let's see. Discontinued. I'm trying to see when, when they were. Dang, 2004. That makes me want to guess that they maybe got discontinued in like. 
2011? Yeah, I I feel like they didn't make it into the 2010s, man. Bro, I was thinking about this the other day, talking about dates. Yeah. Um. When I think back to like being in Miss Winkler's class, Bro, February 2010. February 2010. February 2010. They were unceremoniously discontinued in February of 2010. All I'm saying is this, because they did it was the there were five flavors. And I, I remember some of them. I remember most, I'd say. There was lime. I remember those. Mango. I kind of remember those. Tangerine, for sure. The, actually, maybe I wants to be, I may be thinking of the mango sours that I really, really loved. So <laughs> maybe, so, but I don't know. I feel like these tangerine ones, they taste like what I remember. But I'll have to find some mango ones. Raspberry and apple. I kind of remember mm. raspberry. I don't remember apple at all. Line, but I remember, I remember like probably three or four of these. But as I but anyone who knew their stuff knew that tangerine was the best. That's what it yeah. says. Um, but they were just so good, dude. They were addictive. So I did research. What were you about to say, though, Winkler? No, I was just gonna say like thinking back to like Miss Winkler's class, yeah, and like doing current events. You remember how we had to use oh my God. and like. For some reason, in my head, I felt like um, we would be talking about like, like the two thousand like recession, two thousand eight recession. But like we were in we, seventh we, grade, it, so well, like Winkler were we just like the job market hasn't really like. I just remember Derek saying like, all I I brought remember, up, you know what I mean. Every year I brought up, I put I I said a new state that legal like legalized. Uh, medical marijuana. Yeah. I said every single time. And after the fourth time, she said, you are not allowed to bring it up anymore. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. Here the fuck. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's just funny to think back about. So, I did, I did the best searching I can. These are the tangerine ones. I think I am going to have to buy some mangoes, though. Just in case as a backup. They have mango? You I know? think they do. I think they do. I'll check. Uh, but these are Cavendish and Harvey, made in Germany. Non-GMO, gluten-free, thank God, real fruit juice. Uh, fruity orange drops, what they call them. So you did some research, and you scoured the internet, and I this is did. what you've come up upon? I did. So ten or three pieces is 60 calories. So, so we could have like 20 pieces. 20, or or it's one piece is 20 calories. So they keep them. Whoa. They're huge. Yeah, they're big. So they keep them, I guess, in this, like, powder stuff, I guess, to keep them sticking or something like that, I think is what it is. Yeah. So I wanted to try them with you. So you haven't had one of these yet? Mm-hmm. I'm doing with you. Okay. Not sour as I thought. I'm definitely not sour. No. And then again, they don't really say sour on the pack, so. Yeah. Maybe I should have expected that, but. Definitely orange. It's definitely orange, that's for sure. Definitely tangerine. I mean, but I remember the tangerine sours used to like burn. You'd be like, like burn me, like that sour burn. Mhm. Mhm. And like make the top of your roof, mm-hmm. like, roof of your mouth like raw. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> so I remember good. one time I actually had a whole bag of sour patch like watermelons. Top of my mouth was just fried. <laughs> so bad. Mm, pretty good though. I like how they're like larger. Did mm. it say three? Mm. It said three is sixty. So we just had this is twenty calories. I feel like this could be my dessert after lunch every day. Dude, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, for I twenty can, calories. For twenty calories, I could sacrifice that. I could rip out ten push-ups. <laughs> that's what I mean. So that's pretty good. Fun little taste testing here for a little pre-celebration for the uh, three-year anniversary. And, um, might have to sneak in a crumble cookie this year. Sometime this year. 
Maybe like once uh, once there's like raging waves and you're surfing twice a day, so you can be like, oh yeah, I can. Have yeah, it. when I'm burning like four thousand calories a day, yeah, maybe we can sacrifice and get some crumble. Definitely, we'll have to do that because I think it was even we would have fourths. I mean, yeah, I think fourths were still like four hundred calories. Yeah, I mean, it's and we're having six cookies, right? Maybe not 400 calories for a fourth. Dog. Maybe not. Maybe it's like 200. Yeah, I was going to say like 250, maybe 300. Crumble cookie. Let's just real quick, for the viewers. I was going to say. Let's see what this week's are that we're missing. And if I'm very disappointed in myself that we're not doing it right now. <laughs> so, this week. Oh, oh, fuck. That looks <laughs> so good. Oh, dude, we got to go. <laughs> We can get it delivered. All right, you got yeah. the sea salt uh, toffee. I feel like you, you like. Yeah, that sounds good. Not me, but lemon poppy seed. That sounds really good too, though. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's 180 calories for that one, but the and, but that's times four. You have to times four it. Mm-hmm. Monster cookies back. Texas sheet cake. My big chocolate. Oh. Raspberry cheesecake. Oh my god. Good lord. Oh, classic pink sugar. <laughs> I'm about to bust. Oh my gosh. You're mm. funny. Oh my god. Dude. Where's the nutrition value? Yeah, I was going to say, I know, like, if you go on the app. There you go. 720 for the whole cookie. So it's 180 calories. Per quarter. Well, like I said, so yeah, almost 200. Yeah, but for the first cookie for that lemon poppy seed, that'd be 720 calories. Oh my god. What about that toffee one? Was that before that? 160. 160. Total of 640. I bet that cheesecake is absurd. Uh, this could be definitely over 800. 840 for that whole entire. For so one cookie? For one cookie you're having 840 calories oh my god it's so worth it <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i want it isn't that pretty wild i want it so bad but yeah i would on you can get a three can i literally just go get my fruity ones the lemon raspberry and then pink sugar i literally would go do it right now and i'd have all three cookies for sure. 760 plus an 840 is what? Nine. That's 16. 16 plus another 720. Give me a count. 23, 20. Dude, that's what I mean. I got chocolate like all over me and I don't know where I got it from. I ate like a, um, like look on my pants there. What the fuck? I um ate a uh, ice cream sandwich on the way over, but like it wasn't like that. I have three cookies. And I I definitely have almost twenty five hundred calories. Yeah, no, that's crazy. That's like twenty four hundred calories for sure. Oh my god! And I do it. I do it. I'll get all six and eat them all. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. No, I would. I feel like shit. I remember... What, actually, dude, I don't know if I could. Because I feel like even afterwards when we had fourths of six, which then how many cookies would that be, actually? Be one, one and a half. half? Even having one... After, uh, eating a total of like one and a half cookies, I was kind of like... Oh, kind of stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, but yeah. It's a fun little thing. That's on my side. Now, we got something special. We do. Got something big and special. I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? I do know what it okay. is. Okay. So, you take this over. is from a viewer. I'll let you know after you open it. Okay. But, he, uh, he noticed okay. that we had done, like, the Nintendo Switch and, um... Yeah. Like, or not Switch, but the Nintendo uh, 64. 64 and, like, the... GameCube and anyway, I'll leave it at that for now. But he had this in their 
no longer <laughs> um, out for is sale. This? Who is this? So what the fuck? You're gonna have to look it up actually because I don't know how to explain it all, but it's, it's a State. Google controller. And he's probably like screaming at, <laughs> at us. So this Hold is on. from Greg. Okay. One place you can for all the ways to we hook it up to any screen and start playing, but it was something that Google was putting out and they ran it, but then they like discontinued it right away. Yeah, I saw and a note. sent them out. And like gave back, Greg got his money back and they still sent it out, but there's like, I guess, no support what? for it. But it's, still in the, does. it's still in the wrapper because yeah. he was like, give it to Benton for his like video game collection. Oh my God, this is sick. So it's like, but I guess they don't, if you look it up, you can find like an article. Does it work? I'm sure it does. Okay, like, but I don't know like if it's actually supported in the sense of like, there might not be anything for it. Like, <laughs> like they made my, okay. it. Okay, my question is this. And it may, ha- it may take some time because it may have to go to him. Or the question may have to get back to him. Do I open this? Or do I keep it packaged sealed? I think- and hopes that it appreciates in value. Yeah, I don't know. And in 30 years, we can sell this thing for a million dollars and all three of us get split the profits. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Greg would like that. Um, Sta- yeah, I Stadia? I Stadia? Like I, yeah, I don't know how you say it. Sta- or if you stat? look it up, you got your phone? Yeah, yeah Do some research on it. Just type that in Let's and then eBay Premiere. Really quick. Let's just go here. Let's go to the trusted source of... Trusted source of eBay. Of the... None of these are in packages. Ooh, we got one in package. So these are going for around fifty bucks. Is where we got. Now, what is the point of this? Like, what am I gonna do with it? What can I hook it up to? That's what I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think you can hook it up to any screen um, via like pairing. Videos. Okay, I get videos in the beginning of the year. New a new tool can unlock Bluetooth low energy support. Interesting. But I wonder. I guess it was sort of just like a pickup play. You can carry it with with you. It has all like the games or whatever on games. Google Drive or whatever. Yeah, I don't. That's what I'm not a hundred percent. Um, sure on but like for example this thing has this connects to the Wi-Fi and then I believe um, through that connects to your screens and whatnot and can sync with them and then you can start playing okay, whatever so you Google can use it through your computer it says for PC gaming it's like, I wonder, uh, can I hook the this? controller with the Chromecast so I guess that's really how it works is Google Chromecast. Oh, I wonder if I can use this with my Xbox is what I'm wondering, though. Oh. Uh, with the Stadium mm-hmm. controller, again, it was an even better experience. I didn't have any strange cursors showing up anymore. I, everything was working really well with the controller and really easy for me to use the Stadia uh, button to check out the stream quality or enter, exit the game, go home, whatever I need to do. And uh, as you can see here, able to drive very well, no issues, no problems. Like I said, just like playing Stadia on the browser on the PC, but at 1080p rather than 1440 or 4K. And uh, it was a really good experience overall. I could definitely see uh, this having some potential, even if there's some little issues right now. So they just like trying to get into the gaming market somehow? I guess. I'm not sure because then they ended up shutting it all down. There's a head jack in there too. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do more research. I'm not going to open it yet. Just in case if this thing does turn into a million dollars. Okay. Well, thank you though. Um, yeah, I was like trying to think. Um, I don't think he was like... He didn't. I don't think he said anything like one way or Pick another. up and play. Like, yeah. What are we playing? I don't know. Okay, maybe I will have to open it eventually. 
Let me do more research before I do though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is funny though. <laughs> did not I'll ask him. Did not see this coming whatsoever. I was I was like in my head racking around like what the hell could it be? What could it be? Like, like this bitch is solid. Yeah. Interesting stuff here. It's laid out, yeah, just like a Xbox controller. Maybe XY there. Okay. Are Xbox controllers like that? Or do yeah. they have the joystick up in the left? Yeah, it's A, B, yeah, X, but... Y. Oh, but you're right. I don't think. Yeah, it's like a PlayStation controller. You're right. You're right. They are dead across. So it's got like a little bit of a mix to it. But yeah. Well, we'll cool. Have to figure it out. Yeah. Well, damn. All right. Well. Oh, we'll see what happens with it. That's funny. Uh, well, again, then, to a little bit of an update, as you can see, I'm wearing green. Don't mind what the words say on it. Doesn't really matter. It's the color we're focusing on here. Um, St. Patrick's Day, last week, mm -hmm. Shamrock, not the block, but Shamrock Marathon happened. Steve-O came down. One of his friends, uh, Teddy, came down. Uh, and they ran with Julie, uh, mm -hmm. Joe's mom, in the half K or half marathon, half K. That's half K. Right. They ran a half a K uh, in the half marathon. Um, it was a hell of a weekend, hell of a weekend. So remember, I was like, "Yeah, I'm not drinking anymore." Yeah, uh, Stephen came in town, and like I predicted, I did drink a little bit, but it really, I was kind of back to normal. <laughs> I Friday, Friday after work. Had dinner uh, at Julie's with all of them and stuff, and then we walked to Vibrant Shore, uh, beer place on 18th Street, uh, like right next to like, kind of like one one two blocks away from Novarby, very close. Okay. Um, kind of a little tiny two story place, more outdoors, like what it is. Brewery went there. I always wanted to go there. Um, nice place, really really nice place. Definitely gonna go there in the summer times. Didn't like a single of their beers. One bit. Everything was IPAs. I tried to pick like the least IPA beers. Got a flight. Hit every single one. Dang. <laughs> but, you know, I don't care. Vibes are still good. Place to hang out with friends and stuff. And I'm going to bring a flask. <laughs> and just drink that. Um, but who knows? Maybe. Maybe they will change stuff out, you know? Maybe. Well, I'll, maybe. maybe I'll find something. But at least the four that I tried that I thought were the least IPA. No, I, I like well, just down them uh, after I had like once. I was like that that shit down. <laughs> um, and then obviously Stephen really really want to go to Peabody's, but we're like no. We went to Calypso. Okay. I hadn't been Calypso in a long in, in a long time. Went there. It was packed out. I was like, thank God. I fucking hate people. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whatever. It is what it is. We're already here. So I buy a round for everyone. We get drinks, and then we're chilling, talking, and then Steven buzz around. And, you know, there's four of us. Allie was in town, too. Allie was here. So uh, we start dancing, having a good time. Steven's getting really drunk. I'm like, not that drunk, really. We Uber, Uber back home, put Steven in, <laughs> in bed, and then, and then I come, come back here. Saturday morning, wake up at Farmer's Market. Great time there, always. Steven got a WRV t-shirt. And then I went and saw George. They went to the shack at like 3, I want to say. 2.30. Uh, and the shack was packed. And I did not go. I was like, someone, they, they called me like, where are you? And I'm like, I can hear, I can already hear the background. I'm not coming to that. <laughs> Absolutely not. I do not feel like it. I'm going to go home. Take a nap. <laughs> I'll, as I have this, I'll pick you up for dinner because we're having dinner again at, at Joe's. So, literally picked, picked them up. They were hammered. This is Saturday. The run marathon is Sunday morning. Hammered. All of them. Pick them up. Take them home. They eat. Allie and the and Teddy, they go back out. Teddy actually never even came back home. He just stayed out the whole entire time. Took Allie back out, dropped her off. I went home. Teddy blacked out, blacked out. Stephen stayed back, but kept drinking a little bit at home. 
he he finally went to bed. Alec went to bed. So we wake up. Shamrock, first off, Sunday. Getting my ass up 6 o'clock. It was rough. Even though I get up at 6.30. Uh, three times out of the week anyway for, for work. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Something about getting up at 6. There's 30 minutes. I was like, this is... This can't be happening. <laughs> this is too early for this shit. It was cold, dude. Last week it was cold. On Sunday. All right. Technical difficulty. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? We're back. We're having more. We're having more tangerine sours or just tangerines. Yeah. No too good. Um, so, Leo, Sam. Sunday, the race comes yeah, around. Okay. Sunday. Six o'clock. You're like, what the heck? Hmm. This is so good, dude. They are pretty good. Um, six bucks was, was the whole can. That's not bad. That's, I can rock with that. So, um, six a.m. Wake up. I'm like, I don't want to fucking go. But I told him I'd meet him at the race, seven thirty start time. But I got biked all the way to fortieth, and I'm on nineteenth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have six in the morning. Six in the morning. I bundle. I bundle the hell up. I put on. Wool socks, underwear, long johns, jeans, t-shirt, a long uh, a long sleeve o- over it, a, a sweater, and then a hoodie, and then a beanie, and then a, a COVID mask. Because biking, it yeah. was windy and cold, and biking in the cold sucked Yeah, on my face. So I wore a mask. It was like the best thing ever. Oh. I don't have any gloves. So I wore my wetsuit gloves. <laughs> nice. I wore my three mil wetsuit gloves. They were great. Until my hands started to sweat, which wasn't a problem. But then when I took them off, because we'll, we'll get to that, I put it back on. Too cold. Like I couldn't, And I couldn't get them to warm up. Oh, really? Because it was just like wet on the inside. It's like, no. Nah. Um, but bike to, um, bike to the uh, 40th. Saw them, said hey. All of them made it. Teddy made it. He's running. Um, Grayson Daffin, saw him. Lanny Birch, saw him uh, there. How's Lanny doing? He looked good. Nice. He was really good. I, he, he looked great. So, saw him. He was running half. Grayson was running the full. Oh. I know. That's a wild. Why are you fucking dumb? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to do it though. But all right. Anyway. So I watched them take off. Route is they go all the way down Shore. They all, they go all the way down to 82nd Street. Bank left. Shore Drive. You know, at the light there. Go all the way down the Shore Drive thing at the Fort Story. Interest on the right. They bank into that. Past the, they go under the Fort Story military gates. Military guys are there. And they run through Fort Story. And then they come back down. Hit 88th Street or 89th. You know, and then they run all the way back down. Cut over at 40th Street on the beginning of the boardwalk. And then they run to the Neptune statue, and that's it. That's 13 miles. So, we meet them at, yeah, we meet them at pretty much mile 13, pretty much, or mile 12, you know, at, like, the turn of 40th Street on the boardwalk, when the last stretch from 40th to 30th. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we see them, super exciting, tell you, you know, get to see him and stuff. Party in the tent on the beach was massive. That was really big. But they were like, I was like, hey, I'm done to party. We can do it. <laughs> but Steve was like, no, I want to go. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm fucking done. Teddy made it. He fell behind seven minutes, like, behind that. So really impressed by that, by getting blacked out in the running half, half marathon. They give him credit. They give him credit. Still stupid. That's crazy. Stupid, but I give him crap. Um, but yeah. So, I kind of want to run. <laughs> Not, I don't, I, I don't, I can't do that. The full marathon. I can't do, I can't do the full, I can't do the half. I think you can. But I found out they have a 8K, 8K run, which is like five miles, I think. I think it's an 8K. I think it's a 4.96. Okay. So pretty much run five miles. I can I can do that. I can do that. You know, I'm running three. What's an extra two? 
So I think I'm going to sign, that, sign up for that next year. Uh, for the Shamrock? Yeah. But I also, I am going to do, possibly, thought about also down here, is the Wicked 10K in October. On the boardwalk. And that's like when you dress up as like Halloween characters and stuff like that. And you, uh -huh. and you run right, 10K. I, I thought that could be kind of fun, too. That was this year. So what's that? Like seven miles? No, 10K will be 6.2. Because the 5K is 3.1. So yeah. I could do that. Not too bad. All right? So what is that? Like run down the boardwalk and halfway back? Yeah, their map says you start there. I see. Yeah. Because the boardwalk itself is like... The boardwalk down and back, I believe, is a 5K. I believe it is, right? Down and... Wouldn't, wouldn't down be... Down is like three miles. Oh, really? 3.5 Yeah, I think... Oh, the, cool. Maybe down to five... That's what I mean. The whole thing is like a 10K. I think, yeah, so you, you go... Because you go there, you go down, and then you finish here. Well, I don't know. Yeah. So... But it starts at 8 a.m. at the convention center. I live on the convention center street, so do a little warm up run, you know, to it. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it'd be fun that to would do a be, run. Yeah, that would be. That's not. not bad. That, that's not bad. And I've also been thinking about uh, this year. Uh, Jacob's dad, you know, he, he has like his um, 5K memorial like type of run mm -hmm. up in Warsaw, and I go to that every year, so I'm gonna do it no matter what. I usually just walk it, but. I think this year I want to run it, just to see for the hell of it. And get first place? Maybe. Now, speaking of first place, Shamrock Marathon results. So, for the full full marathon, first place went to a 25-year-old male. Jason Daffron. <laughs> his time was uh, 2 hours and 34 minutes. Keep in mind, I think like the world record was like two hours, two minutes, or something like that. They're still pretty fucking fast. Two hours and twenty-four minutes, you said. Two, uh, two hours thirty-four. Thirty-four. Uh, half marathon, one hour nine minutes. The dude that did the half marathon, he was running, uh, every mile. It took him five five minutes sixteen seconds. Bro, you're like hauling ass. That's faster than I run a mile. Bro, that's that you're hauling ass. And then the 8K, when I was thinking about doing, um, they did the 8K in 26 minutes 11 seconds. That's like, that's really fucking math. My like my 5K is in between 28 and 30 minutes. And they're going an extra 3K. And <laughs> they're getting my time. And then they also have a monster, or they have a, like, uh, they have a one mile run for kids. Yeah. The, the, uh, it was a girl, 11 year old girl, did it four minutes and 59 seconds. Jeez. Our girl was cooking. <laughs> She's just like. <laughs> oh, you know it. But yeah, so those are those are the, those are the results there. But that'd be fun, dude. Dude, it's gonna be wild, like how kids like that. Oh, like, dude, but I feel like just destroy times. Dude, Yanni Allen, Corny Ballou, like back in the day. Dude, they were doing like every time I feel like six minute miles, like they like or less, like yeah. they were hauling in lower school. You got no weight on you. You got fresh lungs. Haven't hit a crisp jewel pod yet. <laughs> fat blunt or anything like that. I'm fat blunt. Just pure O2 in those lungs. <laughs> Cooking. Mm. That's funny. But yeah. So, I think, so the 8K, or the the Wicked 10K would be, um, 
I think October like 26, 27, something like that. I think it's, or no, it said 27, 28 um, for the 10K. And I believe Jacob's dad uh, run. Yeah, it's on, it's on the 29th is the run. Because hmm. it has to do with Halloween. And then I think Jacob's would be the probably week of my birthday. No, week before my birthday, 20th, 21st, something like that, probably 21st. Dang, you're going to be busy. So I run an 8K here, or a 5K here, and then I run a 10K. <laughs> the following week. That's funny. Yeah. I don't know. Am I dumb? Well, that's been a given. But I will say, not the heart problem stuff... I really haven't had any problems, man. That's good. I get chest pain, but it's more like titty pain, like muscles or something like that, I feel like, moving up and down. like. Did you go and see that doctor? No, yeah. They, they, they're they going to probably want to put a heart monitor on me and make me go run. But, I don't know. Whatever. But okay. I think it would be fun to do it. And then, yeah, maybe I'll work my way up to a... America. No, absolutely not. Yep. I never saw a single happy face that finished the marathon. Not even the two hour and 34 minute mm-hmm. guy? Definitely not. Oh, here's a surprise guest. Ashlyn, the star, the mascot what? of the show. She's doing great. And she just wants to be tweaking. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you want to run? <laughs> Not a big fan of running. No? You did it for lifeguarding. Yeah. Didn't like it. <laughs> Dude, that was like the funny thing is I would always be like, I need to like practice for this. Like, it's like an eight minute mile. No, something. you would practice for that and then the swimming. I don't know how the hell you got the swimming, did. I didn't. The one, the second year I didn't. And that's why I didn't really lifeguard is because I was like, dude, I'm... I'm not just like I'll go <laughs> do something else. <laughs> like, yeah, the swim okay. test for lifeguard is, is I, I think it's pretty hard. I'm just a slow swimmer. Yeah, which like I, I am is what it is. I'm not fucking good. But no, the running like I would not want. I wouldn't practice for it, and I'd be like, I hope I make it. I hate running. <laughs> I've never like running. Yeah, well, it's like Especially funny distance. So well, and the people will probably be like Benson what the fuck um my like you know, anytime I run now like I ran with Grace you know today down board, board walking back mm-hmm. she's listening to like Cardi B you know like pump pump up songs <laughs> and I'm literally listening to a Lord of the Rings audiobook <laughs> Still, dude, I'm I'm so with it. That's just all I'm listening to. I'm listening to Lord of the Rings audiobook. Luckily, halfway through the run, the Battle of Helm's Deep started, and I like literally at the end of my like run, like the like last half of it, I was like sprinting. I was like doing long strides because they were like the book we're talking about, like an Aragon. Uh, uh, we're like we're, was running down the and I'm like yeah that's right me too I'm with him <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm like trying to imagine myself in the battle and I'm like because I'm like what if I was in the battle what if I was yeah. in war like how long could I run for how long I could I keep my stamina up if I'm gonna f- have to fight all these people like yeah as long as they're fighting this book I'm running <laughs> like <laughs> but yeah so that is so funny yeah I'm and psyched Grace out. is like what oh, are you doing dusted her. Dusted. Dust. I, by six minutes. You just like, <laughs> you guys start together and you're just like, all well, right. I started, <laughs> I started behind her. I started behind her. And then I realized, I was like listening to the audiobook, but I'm like staring at her butt and I'm like, I can't concentrate whatsoever like, <laughs> on this book. What's, so I'm like, I gotta get in front of you. So I got in front of her and I just took off. I was gone. Was she not like, where, like, stop running away from me? I don't care. She was listening to music. I was listening to music. And I was like, I'm out of here. Like, I'm not slowing down. I'm not, I got stuff to do. I got a pace to keep up with. Uh, that's funny. But yeah. So I did do better than her. So. Hey, that's. And she's, she's definitely more than, more of a runner than me. She, she's been running longer. Dude, I just don't. She's... If I'm going to run, I'm going to run on the beach. Oh. <sighs> I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. <laughs> my I think my ankle my ankles and calves immediately tensed up as soon as you said that. It's so much 
better Hard. though. Oh, so much better workout. I honestly, I bet you, I work out. I'll get more of a workout and harder doing a one mile sand run than a five k run, like with shoes, like on, uh, like you know, on the road. You think? Absolutely, absolutely. It's funny because like. I didn't. I never really thought that it was like that much harder. When you do it, are you running on the water or are so, you on the soft? We, um, it would depend. Oh well, yeah, soft sand run. Soft sand. Soft run. sand. Uh, I didn't think was that much harder. Is like the softest stuff. I didn't think was that bad. That crazy. But everyone's like, no, like <laughs> you run on the sand. Like that's crazy. Dude. But yeah, I mean, the hard pack closer to the water was nice too, nicer than like. Yeah, concrete. of course. Yeah, that's the only thing that I I just don't like the concrete. I like running on something that. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Well, that's what I'm saying. I've been running on the treadmill. Yeah. And I find like, I feel like I'm like kind of jumping, like trotting when I'm on a treadmill. Like I can take like these long strides where the treadmill can like spin under me fast enough, and mm-hmm. so I'm like. You know, I ran a 5K, but did I actually to take the steps that I would have, like, on asphalt yeah. of a 5K? Does I'm like, no. Like, I would, like, kind of leap and, you know, like, I feel like... I know what you're saying. Um, but, yeah. So, I, I want to try to get my my 5K time to, like, I can... It'd be really nice if I could somehow get it to, like... 15. Well, <laughs> if, I, if I get it down to... 26 26 minutes 25. 20 with 26 minutes divided by three three miles pretty much you know what that was the pace on that do you know quick math on that one eight minute mile right eight 16 no eight 16 24 seven is nine i don't know nine nine i don't know what i'm saying no. nine is 10 minute miles 30 minutes nine three ways is 27 okay so yeah, it's I'm like trying to run eight and, a half. eight and a half. Okay, that's what I mean. You need like twenty-four. I feel like an eight-minute mile is solid. Yeah, twenty-four. I feel like, I, I like well, eight minute is what the what, what I'm wondering is really was. quick is what was that the marathon guy? What was his pace? Did, oh, I did say it already. That's did I did I not say it or did I say it? That's half marathon. Hold on, I'm drunk. Um, I thought you said like. Oh no! Six. Yeah. Six. No, his pace for the full marathon winner, his pace was five fifty four. Five fifty four, yeah. Oh my god! Under a six minute mile. And you're telling me that eleven year old girl ran a four fifty something. Four fifty nine. Pre pre. Uh, five. Pretty much five minute. Sub five. That's wild. No, no, no. There's no way. I, it was. Did I say? Was it actually a four, four fifty nine? It was four fifty nine. Fuck. You know the next person behind her was five twenty seven. Literally twenty eight seconds behind her. Almost thirty seconds behind her. She was cooking. That is wild. Like you, she run, That's thirty seconds is a while. Like for running, you cross the finish line, and then you're like, all right, where's the next person? <laughs> There's the next person. Like, that's only been 10 seconds right there. <laughs> we got like 10. You got... So, yeah. But I'm not a runner. I'm not going to be a runner. We need to get your paddle time from the from the pier to the jetty and back. Oh, I know. I know. Dude, I was thinking about the waves we're looking just like. They were just really small, low tide. Kind of like long ones. Like, man. A little, little longboard right now to be fun to cruise on. Like, <laughs> yeah. They're on the pier, man. Uh, Todd wants to sell a surfboard, so. Which, which one, the eight? All of them. Really? Literally. Get that out of here. All right, I'll come so over. So you got to come over. I'll come over. I need to get Josh Passage over there, too. Oh, God. Let me get over there before Passage does. <laughs> 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 Let me get the best pickings. <laughs> oh, damn. So. Uh, anything? Oh, how's I pretty much shut the whole, whole fucking time. <laughs> no. I just realized that. No, you didn't. Any updates with you? Uh, nothing crazy. Just work still going good. Is that kid still still telling you check your area and stuff? Uh, 
No, I haven't worked with him since then, which has been funny. Um, but no, work has been like, I was worried that I wasn't gonna make um, as much money, ha- like having as I was like doing the farm because I'm yeah. going from five days to like three days and yeah. Well, how many weeks have you, have you worked so far? So Wednesday yesterday was my first full week. Yeah off of the farm so i had my training shifts two weekends ago yeah my uh bartending like sort of training last weekend Mm -hmm. which i threw up at work yeah i threw up at work sam saw me and sam's like dude i've never seen you like look like this unless you were like blacked out like you look like you're gonna yak anyway i did yak yeah why um, What'd you yak? Food? Yeah, food, like cheese steak and hmm. mushroom risotto. I think you just ate something. Yeah, I don't know. Wasn't settling. Yeah, it felt like it was like floating at the top of my yeah. stomach. Did you get the top layer off? That's all you needed. Oh, it was like everything. Uh, you emptied out. Yeah, you bottomed out. I bottomed out. Nah. But it was like so weird because like basically I felt like right after I ate it I was like, <sighs> I'm gonna throw up. It's not going to be in the next 30 minutes. It might not be in the next two hours. But, but at some point, happen. I think this is going to have to come back oh, up. weird. And I've, like, never really had that. Um, and then it just, like, my stomach just hurt more and more and more. And I, like, am bartending. And I asked this couple, like, if they wanted some food. And they were like, yeah, like, we're going to put in some shrimp. And I was like, okay, cool. And I, like, turned around. And I'm, like, trying to put it in the computer. And I was just like. Dude, I think I'm gonna throw up. And Sam's like looking at me. He's like, I guess waiting for a drink. He's like, you look really flush. And I'm, like, I'm like, I backed away from the computer. I'm like, I think I'm gonna throw up. And I was like, no, no, no. And I like go, <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, like I need. To Luckily, get out the of bathroom here. is right there. Yeah, next so to I it. just like went in there. Big steps, big steps. Don't run the door <laughs> and just blah, everywhere. Nice. Yeah, and it like. Out my nose, out my oh. mouth, like it was all of it. We cleaned it out. Cleaned it out. Did some rumplements, ru- br- or you know, put some rumplements and swish it around, and spit it. No, and then I that's what I would have done. I went home. <laughs> oh, you did go. Home. Yeah, but it was like I was trying to stay so that I could see closing. Yeah, yeah. And it was like eleven o'clock, and we closed at midnight. And oh, uh, okay, it was pretty late. And so I threw up, and then I had to go home, and I didn't even get to see close. Which, I mean, it was okay because yeah. I could figure it out. But, um, but yeah, no, it's been going good. I've actually made more money. Um, so I worked Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday um, brunch, 11 to 5, and then Tuesday night bartending close. And I made more money in those four days than I made at the farm in five days. Oh, yeah. Um, it was worth it. Yeah, so. Let's get it. Yeah, it's been nice. And then I don't work, or I didn't work tomorrow, but somebody put up a sh- bartending shift, so. Take it. I picked it up, and then I work Saturday, Sunday bartending night. So you work tomorrow? Yeah. What time? Uh, 4 to 10. 4 to 10, okay. Um, and then Sunday we close at 10, so that's going to be like 4 to 10. And then next week, I think they have me serving um, at night on Friday and then Saturday and Sunday bartending. So, But if they're going to put me on Saturday night bartending, like, that's amazing. I'm like, yeah, it's I... Like big. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like prime. I know. I was like, I don't know. It feels weird, but that's what it is. Damn. Am I the inside? Oh, I got a fucking thing. Damn. It's all good. I'm sure there will be more Saturdays. I hope so. And if there's not, then... Bummer. It was what it Dude, was. Dude, that... Uh, on our, like, uh, small group, you know, with Claude yeah. and all them, we're taking a break from, like, marriage, like, counseling and stuff, topics, and uh, we're doing apologetics. Nice. <laughs> it's just the same class. It's the same class. I love it's it, It's so man. funny. I know. I told him, I was like, yeah, Christian, like... 
still has like the two bucks for the glass. Um, yeah, actually, I think. Let her just get thick and then the tent, like the black one with the with the axe on it. Or yeah, I don't like have that. enough faith to be an atheist. Yeah, yeah. Um, as a, he's a, and he was geek and he was like, I love that. Like, yeah, dude, he, he still has it. And, I, will, I actually need to buy him again because I think I let um. You let someone borrow them. Dr. Risser borrow them, and I don't know Maybe if Maybe he still has them. Which, I mean, he can keep them. <laughs> I'll buy two more. I don't think Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, it's been pretty good with, with Kalana and stuff. Uh, there's just some things that, like, will, like, trigger me. I'm like, oh, I remember you said I, remember, I know the answer. I know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But it's me, Grace, obviously she had it, uh, Lauren, um, Ingram. And I think there's, I, that would have been it, who who, sh- who got taught. So it's just funny, because we're like sitting there like... Dude, I want to show up. I know, right? Yeah, it's, we're, we're just, we finished our second week of four weeks of it. Nice. Hi. I, would, I was thinking about that, actually, today. I was like... Yeah, I, can, I wish I could go I back and to stuff. do all my high school classes again. I know. I've been having this weird feeling about wanting to first, like going back to school. I don't know why. Like it's a bit of weird. I want to go back to all my high school classes. Yeah. <laughs> so oh my God. bad. Yeah. For some reason, I want to start taking Excel classes and become and, like, to... and become like a fucking master of Excel. Excel. Yeah. Like I watch just TikToks now of Excel. That's awesome. Like, just all these different formulas and how people do the spreadsheets <laughs> and, like, stuff like that and sort it, like, all you right, cool. You can make applications oh. on Google Sheets. It, dude, it's insane. Like, like, you can make an app for somebody's phone on Google Sheets. Um, But, yeah, so I've, I've been having those thoughts, so maybe I'll buy a book of, like, Excel for Dummies. <laughs> Man. Start doing a little self, self-teaching, self self-sourcing of Excel. some wild stuff on it. Oh, yeah. There, there's Wait until good. they, uh implement some AI in it, oh into it. Gosh, You're gonna be <laughs> It's gonna be a wild time. Um, it's gonna be great. But yeah. So not too much going on this weekend. No real updates. Uh outside Shamrock. Anything else for you? I don't think so. Alright, well, I think that's gonna wrap it up uh, for the for the couch surfing podcast. Season 3, episode 9. Don't know if this is the three-year anniversary video or not. We'll find out. We'll do some calculations. <laughs> but if you're still here, still tuning in three years later, wow. <laughs> what have you done with your life? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, um, well, yeah. Maybe give us an update in the comments of what's been going on in your life. <laughs> yeah. That was a question. That was a bound. I know. I'm glad Greg gave us that. Yeah. Up. That we was need great. Some more uh, viewer submitted. Yeah. We gifts. love gifts. Yeah. We want a gift, pen pal, I'll give me Venmo, whatever My you want. Bitcoin address. Is. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put that down there, whatever it is. Cat toys, you know. Ashton's always looking for another cat toy. Um, but appreciate y'all hanging around, uh, and we will catch you in the tenth episode where something big is happening something big is happening so we'll catch you later peace